I am delighted to stand and take a short call on this bill. Indeed, it's been very difficult to um, sit here and listen to the errant nonsense being spouted from that side of the chamber. In fact, I'd like to invite that member to join us on this planet, and in this country in particular, where over a million people at the end of 2008 joined us and said, we are concerned about these issues. In fact, we're concerned about a whole range of issues, and we're tired of the rhetoric that's been dished up to us for the last nine years. We actually want people who are prepared to grapple with the hard issues, who are prepared to tackle the, the difficult things, who are prepared to actually do all the things that we said we would do. So they sit on that side of the House and say, oh, vaguely, what were those hundred days? Well, let me t tell that side of the House, those are the hundred days that follow an election by an overwhelming majority of this country who want to see action taken. And this bill is yet another example of the action we are taking. We are not an either-or government. We completely recognise that education, strong families, powerful communities. No, I, I beg the member's pardon, but I feel totally vehement about this, and so I am prepared to keep putting my views across. And perhaps if they just listened. So I, we are not about and or. We are all absolutely committed to strong education. We are committed to the one in five students, which were the legacy of that administration, that are being failed in the education system, and out of which I would imagine that the thousand most serious youth offenders that this bill is directed at are generated. So while we are taking um, action on national standards, we are also recognising that the population of New Zealand are concerned about this particular serious recidivist young group. And we have put before this House a menu of options, a menu of options, not a one-size-fits-all, a menu of options, uh, all of them well-researched, all of them well uh, thought through, and they will work and they are well supported because our purpose... Our purpose is not only so that New Zealanders feel safe in their homes, but so that these young people get the chance, get the opportunity to turn their lives around. They require, they require much more targeted support than has generally been available. And that is why we are expanding the youth court's ability to provide those particular tools in order that they get the attention that they deserve and that they need. And the suggestion that this side of the House is engaged in exploitation means that that side of the House does not understand what taking responsibility is about, does not understand that this side of the House is prepared to confront the difficulties and is prepared to put in place what is necessary to give these young people the opportunity to turn their lives around. So yes, I stand both in support of this bill and in support of national standards and in support of the investing in the social sector because this government has a full range of options to offer to the community of New Zealand, a full toolkit. We are not comparing ourselves with that side of the House which was toolless and toothless for the last nine years of their administration. So I commend this bill to the House and I thank the Minister for having the courage to take this kind of leadership and I thank the House for giving me the opportunity to speak so passionately, albeit apparently hurting the ears as well as the minds and the sensitivities of that side of the House. Kia ora